Okay, guys, so with your brushes down here with your texture, you're using a procedural texture, which I've got right now is a musgrave. You have different mappings. And this first one, view plane, uh, works from the view and it just everywhere you touch. So it's just making a multiple, um, an additional brush on top and so it's not going to set right um, so we're going to get rid of that all are in the in the window for the, the image I'm going to try choose tiled and from the view I'm going to paint and that's what I want right there almost except also same thing it's going by the occlusion occlusion coloring normal and if we had the cavity mask on it'd be more complicated but this mapping is pretty good for close-up parts that are masked and they're individual so you're trying to cover a whole object a whole 3d object on a different kind of mapping now we have a couple more but they're pretty much the same random is going to do the same thing it's going to flip around like the other one from the view and it's not going to really give us what we want a lot of textures are like that but what we trying to get is this pattern thing oh just pick 3d and like I said with procedurals it's already figured it, it figures it out for you you don't have as much to work with you know it's not as big of a deal it works pretty well like that now working with it with this Depending on what your effect is, I've got my pressures turned off. I just wanted to fill and show you. But there's other, there's another really cool thing you can do with this procedural paint, and that has to do with that thing with the, the curves, or sorry, the color ramps. Let's go ahead and change the color ramp around and see what we can do with the colors. I'm going to pick another color. are going to choose one of these ramps first one is this one control C control V so I'm going to put this ramp down and like I said with the procedural this is 3d mapped works pretty well maybe not perfect maybe you, know, you maybe want more control you might have to spend some time working on your procedural first to get a really good procedural texture and you can, you can lay down what you want this is what I want to show you now so I've got that in there I'm going to control C over this other ramp put it down in there and change to another color and voila I got painting inside my holes on the same pattern like I said it's not perfect I'm probably should have spent some more time working on my ramp but it's pretty close to getting my empty space and I think that's pretty cool and uh The nice thing is that you can save this inside a group, so you can bring up these these curves again, these uh, color ramps again. Also, with my curves, I can save cavity, you know, cavity curves here and bring them back in and stuff. But the other thing I wanted to do was to show you how to to actually get a, a really good, really well wrapped, you know, wrapped. Uh, but use cycles to get something from an image. So, like, um, go to cycles and uh, we'll go to object mode. And right now, tap out of that. And I'm gonna work with the materials and. 
X out of that, give them a brand new material. Give them an image texture. And I'm going to get something that's like a metal or whatever. Um, yeah, good enough. And I will set this to box. Input is going to be, I mean, input texture core is going to be object. And I do need to work on a world. So while we're there, let's go ahead and use nodes. Put texture, environment texture, same place we were at. Got a couple of JPEGs at work. And 25. I need to add a camera. Control Alt Zero. Lock camera to view. And you know, that's pretty good. So, order and crop. I'm gonna just only look at this. I want to go to GPU for right now. And oops, sampling. Whole thing. I'm going to run it at uh, maybe 20, 10 on the preview. I want to bake, but I don't want to kill myself. So, back to the material. Okay. Need to turn up blend. Rendered. You see it has quite a bit of overlap. Yeah, there we go. Generated actually works a little bit better but with a blend. So you get a nice little even space. I'd like to be able to, to get this out, so go to there to solid. I'm going to use a mention the UV map that we're going to base it on. I'm going to get another image and go flat. I'm going to maybe go to that Material diffuse color B, and since that's selected, that'll be what we bake to. So it'll bake this to that. Bake and go. Shouldn't take that long because we didn't use very, very many samples. The cycles you really want to use a lot of samples, unless you're doing like me sometimes and you want that grain so you get some bump. But Let's go ahead and take this, apply it to our diffuse, see what we get. And it's pretty much the same thing. That's pretty that's pretty awesome. So what are we gonna do? Well let's go here back to Blender render and I'm going to Turn off use nodes. I'm going to give him a new material, and I'm going to give him that image we just made. First, I need an image save as desktop cycles base. Desktop cycles base. Use it for UV color. We're good. Now, sorry. If I go to texture mode. Make sure I put them on there.
Okay, so now we have it. Texture paint mode. You'll see this is what we got from baking out with the box map with generated. No, it's not perfect. No, this probably isn't a finished color map. But that's pretty cool for uh, something to base on. We can actually, on top of this, we go GLSL and then go shadeless. We can definitely use another slot. Use color and I'll use alpha nothing. Hit OK. Put that to paint. And then I'm going to use this uh, procedural. Call it, set it to color. Or no, actually, we'll set this to mix and on our slot, we'll set that to color. My bad. Okay. And we'll set we'll keep that to 3D. And be interesting. I really shouldn't have done it like that. We need to go with strength and go And like I said, you got that going on, you can actually start manipulating this by changing scale a little bit at a time. And if you use the 3D, you can actually get it to kind of propagate across a little bit more organically. See, depending on what you do, you can actually start getting some really interesting effects. And that's that's just a little bit of something you can do. Um, but I hope that helps out with understanding how you can get started on this. All right? Talk to you guys later. Hope you have fun.